Hello, this is Doc C. Rich 3 TV, and I'm Dr. Carolyn Richardson. Today, I will be giving you tips on how you can manage the allergy season. Yes, the allergy season is upon us. The weather has warmed up, and if you notice, there are blossoms everywhere, on the trees, on flowers, on the grasses, on bushes, and even the weeds. All plants are producing pollen from the blossoms. That are, The pollen is going through the air, and this pollen lands on the lining of your eyes or your nose and causes you to sneeze and have itchy, watery eyes, an itchy throat, a congested nose. Ugh. Allergy symptoms can be a problem for people who are affected by them. But I have some tips today on how you can make it through the allergy season with a little bit more relief and a little bit more comfort. You want to watch the weather reports because they give what pollen counts are high on a particular day in your area. That way you will know if tree pollen affects you, those are times you need to stay indoors and spend less time outdoors being impacted by the pollen. You can help your allergy medications help you better by taking it about 30 minutes before you go outdoors. This is especially true if your allergy medicine doesn't cause you to be sleepy or drowsy. Take it 30 minutes before you go outdoors, then it will be in your system and keeping your symptoms under control. If your eyes are itching, you can wash the pollen away from the lining of your eyes using cold water. The cold water soothes your eyes, rinses the pollen away, gets rid of that irritant, and gives you relief. If your nose is congested, then you want to flush your nose with saline solution. This special nasal saline solution will rinse the pollen away and keep your nose from being irritated and congested by the pollen. You want to know which high pollen counts trigger your allergy symptoms and stay indoors to avoid them. If you have asthma, you want to pay particular attention to the allergy symptoms. Because the same triggers that cause your eyes to water and your nose to be congested and your throat to itch will also cause the lining in the tubes of your lungs to be irritated. Once this happens, you can start wheezing and coughing and have difficulty breathing and you would need to have your rescue medications on hand to get relief. You want to keep all your medications on hand so that they'll be ready to use. You might have to contact your doctor to get refills and if things are not working well actually go in to see your doctor because then your medications might have to be changed you might even have to take a combination of several medications to get the best relief another thing that will uh, cause pollen to give you problems is that it lands on your car and it's on the driveway and even the little path and area outside your front door you want to use a hose to rinse the pollen away so that you don't end up tracking it into your house and now you have pollen indoors causing your allergy symptoms to continue. The allergy season typically lasts from the late February to about the end of May. But hang in there. You can make it. If you know what uh, triggers your allergy symptoms, you can have your medications on hand and at the ready to give yourself relief. Wash away pollen and keep it from irritating you and adding to your problems and you will go through the allergy season with more comfort and more relief.